All right, Nate Yetzer here at uh, Virginia Tech Wrestling Room, man. Uh, the how's, the, how's the day the going? <laughs> how's the day going? It's going good, man. It's going good. Football oh. weekend, so it's always a we got recruits in, so it's a good time. It's always a good weekend to bring them in. Okay, uh, what was the workout this morning? Huh? Uh, mostly it was kind of it was kind of uh, loose, wasn't real structured. We just basically had the guys come in and we worked on some stuff a little bit and um, kind of just put them through a real quick drill. And then we just got after it, went some live. Um, just kind of the recruit, recruits they can see who we have on the team as far as workout partners and. You know, it's, it's good just um, just get in here and get a quick workout in for the game um, before uh, things get a little crazy around here. So does it get good. pretty? Uh, it gets hectic around here, man. You'll see. You're gonna stick around for the game. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going oh, to yeah, the game. It's gonna be it's a good time, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's talk about the journey, man. You've had quite the journey. You started out in Mansfield, Ohio. Yep, good old Mansfield. And then you were state champ. Yep, state champ my senior year. And, and uh, then you and your, your your brother. Yep. He was also, I think, he was a runner up. He was, yeah, uh, Fargo runner up. Fargo actually, runner up. National runner up. Yeah, okay. I, I took second at high school nationals, and he actually took second out in Fargo. Okay, so, so you're ten months apart. I thought you guys were twins. No, ten months apart. Yeah. Okay. He, who's older, you or him? He is. He's ten months yeah. older. Okay. So, state champ. State champ. In Ohio, yep. high school national runner up. Edinburgh. Talk about your experience Edinburgh. at Edinburgh. Uh, it's great experience. Great experience. Um, you know, it was the right place for me just because it was small and structured. If I would have went to Ohio State or uh, Wisconsin or something, I would have been a number. And you know, honestly, I probably wouldn't have made it. Coming out of high school, I wasn't exactly the most, maybe maybe not the most focused kid. So academically, would you say? Academically and maybe my uh, maybe social life a little bit. So it was it was a good place for me. Um, at least I was smart enough to realize that you know that uh, that was the place for me to go where they had a lot of structure and. And uh, it, I have nothing but great things to say about the place. It was, it was uh, for me, it was an awesome experience, and uh, it kind of directed me here in a lot of ways because um, Roby wrestled there. So. Okay. So then, after Edinburgh, you took a brief coaching stint with Binghamton, Binghamton yes. in New York. Yeah. yeah. Actually, they dropped a, and then added. Yeah. Actually, right? it was a potato salesman, potato, potato chip salesman. Are you serious? For a month. Yeah. And I, for and a I month. Missed, yeah. I missed. I thought I wanted to get out of wrestling, and uh, business always kind of appealed to me. So I got into sales and. Kind of, you know, I didn't really. I missed wrestling a lot, and you know, I, and Roby called me actually. And at the time, I was thinking about leaving anyways. Roby's like, "Hey, I got this job uh, at Binghamton, and yeah, I'm looking for an assistant." And I was like, and "I didn't even check Binghamton. I didn't even know where I was at." And I was like, "I'll take it, whatever, you know." <laughs> I don't want to be a potato. Yeah, exactly. So salesman anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so not a lot of respect. You know, I didn't get a lot of respect for being a potato salesman. <laughs> okay, so then you guys got the opportunity here when there was the coaching change. Right. Dresser's the head coach. Right. Roby was hired before you or after you? He was before me. So then he brought, he, you know, obviously yeah, he, brought, he had yep. coached with you and you followed yep. him here. Yep, absolutely. Talk about the direction you guys are heading in here at Virginia Tech. Well, I think um, one of the reasons that appealed to me here is, uh, I guess, the fact that, you know, the sky's the limit here. You know, we have the resources to be you know, to be a top four team, even be a national title team, you know, down the road. That's that's our goal, you know, to be on the, to be a top four team and get a, a, a trophy at the national. So I think, uh, and I think that's really realistic. I, I would not be here if it wasn't a realistic goal. So I'm excited. I know, um, you know, the coaching staff's excited. And I think our kids now are starting to buy into, you know, kind of what we're trying to do here. And um, so from there, I guess, once the kids start buying in, you know, the sky's the limit for us. So it's really exciting. What's next for you guys? What's first up on the schedule? Uh, we have a dual meet here against George Mason and I think King's College in Tennessee. Just kind of a, it's a good, good indicator to see where we're at, you know, right now, early in the season. And uh, obviously, you know, we're not jumping into Nebraska. We wrestled Nebraska this year in Central Michigan and Michigan, so we're not jumping into them right away. We're kind of building up to that, so that's kind of nice. Uh, what is the big tournament? You go to the Southern Scuffle or? Uh, yeah, we're going to Southern Scuffle. We go to Las Vegas every year. Um, we're going down to Dallas, Texas for the uh, Lone Star Duels this year. I think we're wrestling Cal Poly, which, you know, has a really good team. There, so, here. Uh, there. Okay. There. Yep. And then we're coast right. to coast, huh? Yeah. And then, then, then we're going up to Michigan to wrestle Central Michigan, Michigan, and Nebraska. So, it's, uh, and Binghamton, our old, uh, our old school. Oh, so, okay, yeah. okay. Trip back for yep. <laughs> the stop off that you took for a year, right? Yep, exactly. Yep. Okay. Just got married. Talk about that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna bring that up. <laughs> no, it's good, man. It's, I recommend it. I highly recommend married life. I, I love it. So, and I'm, I'm I'm all for the social part of, of uh, my social life. I love the social life, but you know, I got married, man. It was you know, it was right. So, can't complain. You know, I got a good girl, so I'm lucky. Okay. Anything else there? Uh, uh, anything else you want people to know uh, just about don't. tech? No, they got or anything. It's a great place, man. It's a great place, and you know anybody that's you know, watching this, that you know they, they can hopefully see what you know, the direction we're going, and you know, and it, it's, it's it's a promising future. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for another year down the road. How good we're going to be. And, 
that's exciting, man. I tell you what, I wake up every day going to work and happy because I know where we're heading. So that's exciting. So. All right, Nate, that's all you got for me? Yeah, that's all I got, man. All right, thanks. <laughs>